Good morning. Today's Thursday, the 18th of February, and it's the Thursday after Ash Wednesday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prompt our actions with your inspiration, we pray, O Lord, <clears throat> and further them with your constant help, that all we do may always begin from you, and by you be brought to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> First reading is from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, See, today I set before you life and prosperity, death and disaster. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I enjoin on you today, if you love the Lord your God and follow his ways, if you keep his commandments, his laws, his customs, you will live and increase, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land which you are entering to make your own. <clears throat> but if your heart strays, if you refuse to listen, if you let yourself be drawn into worshipping other gods and serving them, I tell you today, you will most certainly perish. You will not live long in the land you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today. I set before you life or death, blessing or curse. Choose life then, so that you and your descendants may live in the love of the Lord your God, obeying his voice, clinging to him. For in this your life consists, and on this depends your long stay in the land, which the Lord swore to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, that he would give them. The Word of the Lord. The Gospel is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, 22 to 25. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man is destined to suffer, suffer grievously, and to be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, and to be put to death, and to be raised up on the third day. Then to all he said, if anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross every day and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it, but anyone who loses his life for my sake, that man will save it. What gain then is it for a man to have won the whole world and to have lost or ruined his very self? The Gospel of the Lord. So today's readings, first readings of the ordinary days of Lent, are in many ways setting the tone. First reading from Deuteronomy is applying to today what Moses said years ago to the Israelites. Today's a day of choice. It comes towards the end of the book of Deuteronomy, um, where the, the law and the various aspects of keeping the law have already been stated three times. It's important to note that the book of Deuteronomy is what it says it is, Deuteronomos, second law, and it comes from the time after they've come back from the exile in Babylon. So we're talking 400 BC, somewhere around there. And they're asked to renew their promise to the law. So all the threats about I won't let you keep the land. They've already lost the land and come back to it. They've already been had an exile. And so, in a sense, they're hearing there might be another exile if you don't keep the law. And there is also what's often quite, quite controversial about the book of Deuteronomy. If you keep commandments, everything will go right and you'll be prosperous. Um, it's known as the gospel of prosperity. And certainly the authors of the book of Deuteronomy are saying that, yes, you will be living according to God's law and he will be with you. But it's too far to go to say everything will be a success and everything will go right if you keep all the laws. It's because so often the obverse that's sometimes imposed on people is so damaging to them. Oh, something bad's happened to you, therefore it means you didn't keep the law, you weren't following the teachings of Moses or the teachings of Jesus. And that's, that's, that's a bad move, that's wrong. The Gospel, as Jesus is saying to 
the disciples perhaps first of three times in the Gospels that the end of the story is passion, death and resurrection in Jerusalem. It's not going to end well the way you want it. Yes, I am the Messiah, but not the Messiah that's going to drive, drive out the Romans. And then he goes on to say, not to the disciples, but to all those listening, you must renounce yourself and take up your cross daily and follow my, my leadership. And then you will find peace and find your place in the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> Notice when this gospel is written much later, and that phrase, to take up your cross, could only really mean, make much sense, after the death and resurrection of Jesus. Before that, before they even knew that people, he was going to die on the cross, it, well, he, they would have said, well, what's happening, what's he saying? For us, it means accepting the sufferings that come in our lives, and for all of us, sufferings come in one way or another, we don't need to go out and look for them. On the other hand, we do need to not avoid them. They're part of life. They're part of the human condition. And we accept them. And it's part of our taking up the cross daily. That we accept whatever comes our way. Trying to make the best of it. Trying to keep our faith in God. And all through Lent, this is a time of conversion and metanoia. We're turning back to God in a, in a way that we hope is new. Renewing our confidence in him, renewing our confidence even when we're in struggles and in difficult times. We turn to our bidding prayers. The response is, remember Lord that we are your children. Let us praise God for his loving kindness which is revealed to us in Jesus Christ. Remember Lord that we are your children. Lead us more deeply into the life of your church and through us make it a clearer sign of the world's salvation. Remember, Lord, that we are your children. Lover of men, help us to play our part in the growth of the human city, and help us to build up your kingdom in every way. Remember, Lord, that we are your children. May we come to Christ when we are burdened, for he is the spring of living water who refreshes all who thirst. Remember, Lord, that we are your children. Forgive the harm that we have done. Guide us in the path of justice and truth. Remember, Lord, that we are your children. We say together the prayers as God's children to our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, be the beginning and end of everything we do and say. Prompt our actions with your grace, and complete them with your all-powerful help. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Have a good day.